Hi, I'm Antoinette from Antoinette's Italian Kitchen, and I'm here today to share with you my lasagna recipe. What perfect timing could it be? It's holiday time. But most of all, I want to share this recipe, and I want to tell you how important it is for me to enhance my recipe with the Logatelli grated Pecorino Romano cheese. This cheese is in so many of my recipes, and I have to tell you, this one is the one that I love the most to make it. So let's get started. We have our regatta. And it's funny, I can remember the days I started to make this when I was 10 years old. And I watched my mom make it, actually. And she would tell me, don't stir it too much, don't make it too soft. She would literally stand over me, and I appreciate her teaching me because I loved cooking since I was 10. But I discovered later in life, Logatelli cheese. That was a game changer. And when I say a game changer, years and years ago, my mother used Pecorino Romano cheese. Was it Logatelli? I don't know. I was too young to understand and realize that. But today, for the past over 50 years, I've been using Logatelli cheese in all of my recipes that call for grated cheese. And I have to tell you, it's amazing. Delicious, and it's also extremely tasteful, but it enhances the flavor of every dish. So I added my eggs, and I'm gonna add my Logatelli, grated Pecorino Romano cheese. I'm gonna add some shredded mozzarella, I love my scissor. I'm gonna cut in some parsley. Fresh parsley, I like everything fresh when I cook. You can use dehydrated, but I like fresh. Stir it. And in the regatta, I like to put some of the meat sauce that I will be adding to the lasagna, but I also add it into my regatta. Okay, now we're ready to get started. We're going to layer. We're going to first put sauce in the bottom of the tray. And I, I like to use glass when you're cooking. It just cooks a lot better in glass or porcelain for some reason. Okay. We're going to lay out our noodles. There's an art to making lasagna. You want to keep it light and airy, but yet delicious. And you'll see how much I love to use my Logatelli cheese. I'm going to use this spoon. I'm going to put this here, layer it out. It's pretty simple. And you know what's nice about this dish? Even for a holiday, you can make it a day or two ahead of time and let it sit in the refrigerator. And I'll tell you, that's the best thing you can do because it tastes even better when it sits. And you're not rushing that day to cook a pasta dish. There's my Locatelli again. This is the best. Okay, you can put a little mozzarella. And then I add my meat sauce. Now my meat sauce has the ground round in it, and it has the ground sausage. Put it like this. Looks delicious, doesn't it? It is. And you just layer it. I pre-cook the noodles. I let them cool. I rinse them and let them cool so it's not too hot on your fingertips when you're making it. Okay, we second layer it. There you go. Logatelli cheese again. It 
it's so inviting. I love to do this, especially when I do dishes that are layered, like eggplant parmesan. I just keep putting the Logatelli cheese. It just brings out the richness and the flavor of the entire recipe. And then I top it with it. See, it's nice and meaty and flavorful. It's really such a simple dish to make. I know people think it's so complex. You pre-make your sauce ahead of time with the meat in it. And it's pretty simple. So for my holiday, this will be done ahead of time. I want to get nice. You can have a selection of noodles here. I like to have perfect noodles. So my dish comes out looking perfecto. I enjoy to cook. Like I said, I've been cooking since I'm 10 years old and it's just such a pleasure for me. Okay, now we're gonna top it with our meat sauce. And here we go. It's got fresh basil in it. We have all the flavorings that we need. And we have our Logatelli cheese again. And I'm gonna to top it with fresh mozzarella. Don't mind my fingers, my fingers are so close to my cooking heart. I'm not gonna bake this today. I'm actually saving this for my guests to come. I'm making it a day ahead of time. And what's gonna happen is, it's gonna sit overnight in the refrigerator, soak, and get delicious flavoring throughout. I'm topping it with fresh mozzarella. It's one of my favorite dishes to make. And I'm done. And I'm proud to show you my lasagna completed. And the best part is it's topped with Logatelli cheese. Once more, one for the road. Can never use enough of this. It's fabulous. It, it's a game changer. Thank you so much for watching me make my lasagna from my heart to your plate.